hello everyone welcome back to my video in this video we are going to talk more about literature our discussion will be about the extrinsic elements found in the literary works prose poetry and drama as i've told you previously in my other video these elements are not exclusive to one type of literary works in this explanation I will be helped by my assistant, Franz. Hey everyone, Franz is here. I'm going to ask some questions related to today's topic. So, what are the extrinsic elements? Basically, these elements are divided into two categories. The ones related to the author or writer, and the ones related to the environments or surroundings of the author or writer. Let's talk about the first category related to the author, shall we? This category describes the extrinsic elements related to the author or the writer. So what are they? The first one refers to the author's worldview, belief, and principle. The work of literature is then made based on how the author sees the world, based on his religion, perspective, and points of view. Thus, the work will be subjective. For example, if the author is Christian, he can write more about Christianity, and if he is Muslim, he writes more about Islam tradition, etc. that he knows. In this case, we can also see that the similar theme of work can be made differently by different authors based on his point of view and we cannot judge the right or wrong we can only agree or disagree with the work and enjoy the author's perspective in the second element the author's social relationship influences his attitude toward the others and thus the human relationship in general in his work later the writer might write story about different social status that reflects his own condition as being in lower or upper class in the society. And on the other side, the work will also reflect his relationship with others as close or distant, depending on his being an introvert or extrovert. An introvert person can write everything being distant from people more accurately than write about being open to others. Now let's see the third element, which is related to the author's economic status. The author's condition affects his way of thinking toward the material things. If the author has everything, like money or being rich, it is easy for him to write a story of a rich, successful person. And if he comes from poor background, it's not difficult to write about poverty. And the fourth element refers to the author's historical background. The author's past experience helps him to create an idea or imagination more easily. For example, if the author comes from broken family, he can write his struggle in life to survive by himself and overcome all of his obstacles. This might be difficult when told by an author who comes from happy family. The author's past experience is the best reference to create a work of literature. Okay, now we've come to the last extrinsic element related to the author's psychological condition. The author's state of mind may influence his approach to create a story. Many stories are made as the result of the author's emotional state. A work which is made when the author is being angry will be different from the one made when the author is happy or sad, although it surrounds on similar topic or theme. Thus, this internal feeling also plays an important role in the author's creativity and imagination. So these are the extrinsic elements related to the author or the writer.
Wow, that's interesting. So, there are at least five elements related to the author, right? Yes, friends. Now, we are going to discuss the ones related to the environment or surroundings of the author. I think they won't be much different. It's just that the focus will be more on the general conditions around the author, right? Yes, let's see this explanation. In the second category, the extrinsic elements reverse to the external situation of the author. First is the economic condition of the city or country where the author lives. The rise and fall of the economic situation can influence the author's life and thus bring him to an expected situation as well. For example, if the country is in a monetary crisis, the author might want to create a story by previously observing uh, how people react to the crisis, including himself. He can write people struggle to survive or ways to earn money during the crisis. The second element refers to the socio-political condition of the nation. The do or don'ts given by the government or people may limit the author's imaginations and ideas. In some places, the people are restricted to write on certain issues and thus putting burdens on the author's creativity. Not only by the government, sometimes the general people's perception on something that is taboo or not will also affect the author's imaginations. Okay, now we move on to the last element, which is the historical cultural conditions of the author's surroundings. The different history where or when the author lives contributes to his way of setting his work. When the author writes the story during the wars, he points out the situations or description more accurately. Likewise, an author can also create a work referring to his traditional customs that cannot be found in other places or in other eras. So these are the three extrinsic elements related to the author's surroundings. Okay, it's clear now. In this category, the author is affected by the economic, socio-political, and historical cultural conditions of where he lives at the time of writing the work. That's right, Franz. Well, thank you for assisting me this time. Now it's time for us to say goodbye. The pleasure is all mine. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully it's helpful. Goodbye. <laughs>